Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a good week. I'm doing pretty good, except there's this cake in the fridge and I've been having way too much of it. So I'm making a bread rolls here. It's a pretty nice and easy recipe. Uh, normally these things are really oily and not so good for you and like make you feel really down. I am making it that way, but I'm also going to be showing you guys some alternative. Because like I said, I've been eating this cake all week. Like, it's weird. Have you guys ever had this? Like, you go on a diet, you're doing really good, you're fighting the cravings. The cravings aren't even hitting you, really. But then you eat something and it tastes so good and you're like, screw the... And you're like, screw the diet. And like, I just want to be fat and happy. <laughs> and, I don't know. The life of a fat boy. The struggles of a fat boy. Um. So yeah, just cut off the edges of the bread. I don't know why I'm showing you this twice, it's really not that complicated. You could probably use scissors to make it a little bit more time efficient, but I'm just butchering away like a savage. Savage. Excess crumbs, you can just store them and you can use them for other stuff. Make sure to drink water, hydrate yourself. It was hot in that kitchen. So this is the only part that's kind of complicated and it's not really complicated. So you're just wetting the bread. Don't throw the whole toast in the water, then it's going to be way too wet. Um, just use your finger, just put some water on your fingers and then wet it. And you really want to wet the edges because the water will act like an adhesive. So if it's not sticking together, just, you know, use more water. Use as much water as you need. So the first method of cooking we're going to use is just straight up frying it in a bunch of oil. So I'm letting it cook on each side for a few seconds, turning it a little bit, letting it cook on that side, letting it turn. And don't use your fingers, it's extremely hot and just insane. But yeah, all sides. Use, use like a spoon, don't use your fingers like I did. The next I'm stir frying it. I'm showing you that there's no oil there <laughs> this time. So it's the same thing, but you're just going to let it cook m longer on each side and then go on a stroll because this does take a while to cook. So you have time. You can go away, come back. It's a very AFK method. I know. Or AFP method away from the pan. Okay guys, so here's our three kinds of bread rolls. Here's our fried bread roll. This, you know, um, appearance-wise, that's the best one. Here's the stir-fried one. This one took a long time to make. And here's the one I baked for 10 minutes. You can see the little thingies. Um, let's do a little taste test. So this is the deep, not deep fried, but rather fried. Mmm. Now I'm, um, you know, taste how I'm supposed to taste. This is stir fried. Hmm. The stir fried one is a little bit crunchier actually. And the baked one. Hmm. 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 Interesting. Definitely they all taste really good. Um when it comes to the best, I guess it depends. Like overall, I think the one that was fried and a lot of oil tastes the best but it's also very like oily and I feel like if I ate two of these I would get instantly sick um the one that's stir fried probably has the second best flavor but um the baked one is interesting and I think this one might actually be my favorite because it doesn't taste how it's meant to taste but it still tastes really good 
um, and it doesn't have any ickiness to it. I think I could eat this and feel completely fine. I could probably work out after eating this one. Like after I eat this one, I'm going straight to bed. Um, but what's interesting about the baked one is this one has the most crunch because I think it would, um, because I think the bread was able to really toast in the oven for like 10 whole minutes better than the other better than the other two methods and yeah I think uh, this one is my favorite because it has that crunch it doesn't taste like a bread roll but it tastes good but if you want an authentic bread roll you would go for this if you want a healthier version of that you would go for this so I guess the stir fried one really has no purpose it's just a healthier version of the, this one uh, but if you want but if you want a healthy version anyway I think just bake it you could maybe air fry it but honestly I found that when you try to air fry things uh, you don't get the same product they might come out good but they won't come out as like a healthier and better tasting version of the unhealthy food it'll just be a healthier version and that's different it'll just taste different but uh, I don't want to sit here and wash the air fry all that so I'm not gonna air fry it you can try air frying it you can let me know how that goes but that's the video. Nice and easy, but more importantly, nice and lazy.